The new comedy, The Righteous Gemstones, follows a Southern televangelist family who, behind closed church doors, are anything but holy. Yeah, Edie Patterson stars as Judy Gemstone, who, along with her t two brothers, finds herself in a blackmail attempt gone wrong. Take a look. So now we need to figure out a meaningful way in which we can divvy it up. No, 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 no. How about nobody gets a cut, okay? How yeah. about it all goes back to the church? I like that plan. That's a good plan. How about give half of it back to the church and the other half we split 50-50? How about give a third of it to the church, the other half 70-30? 70, 30. 70 mean 30 years. How about a quarter back to the church, 60-40 split? How about eighth back to the church, 60-40 split? Church gets nothing, 60-40. Deal. <laughs> and Amy joins us now. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks so, for having me. So this church takes on the mega church in America. <laughs> what kind of research did you do to prepare for this role? Have you ever been to a mega church? I weirdly have not been to a mega church. Yeah. I grew up very churchy, going to church every week. <laughs> but it was uh, an Episcopal church. Uh -huh. We did vacation Bible school and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. But we never did mega church stuff. Um, so all of my research into that was mostly online yeah. mega church stuff. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about the gemstones. Who are they? So the gemstones consist of the father, the patriarch, Eli, who is played by John Goodman, and he is sort of the main pastor at this mega church. And he has two sons and a daughter. Uh, Jesse and Kelvin are his sons, and they also preach at the mega church. And I'm Judy, his daughter, and I'm not allowed. <laughs> and I'm not happy about that. <laughs> well, the three of you really feel like siblings. Why? <coughs> now, Judy's the middle child. She has a little bit of that middle child syndrome. Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you describe your role in the family? Where do you fit in? Uh, I fit, like you're saying, right in the middle. I'd say Judy is very frustrated. She's very uh, angry <laughs> that she's not being allowed to do what she wants to do. And uh, she wants to be seen and is fighting for yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've worked with Danny in the past, so do yeah. you just really feel like family on set? Yeah, it's the greatest. Uh, we did Vice Principals together yeah. and uh, had a sort of a slightly contentious relationship on that show, too, and, but in a different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was after him romantically and he wanted no <laughs> part of it. Um, but yeah, the, I, the second I met Danny, I felt like Oh, weird. This is this guy's my brother, and I don't know why I know that or how I know that, but he is my brother, and we really make each other laugh. And then Adam just seamlessly fit into that, which was so lucky. Yeah, yeah. Now you all are shooting this in South Carolina. Yeah, Charleston, and that's also where he did Vice Principals. Yeah. Why is South Carolina the perfect setting for this show? The well, it's the perfect setting for this show. This show because it's uh, South Carolina. Uh, Charleston, South Carolina, is called the Holy City. Yeah. It's got so many churches in it, and there's a thing even with downtown where the buildings can't be higher than the tallest church steeple. Oh. Uh, it's a very church-centric city, and I think all of that reminded Danny of his childhood growing up in yeah, the church, yeah. and he thought, well, I wonder what it's like to be super involved in church now, and yeah. that started his wheels turning with this show. Now, you're also a writer on the series. Yeah. Is it easier to act when you're writing the scripts, or is that more challenging? You know. It's not, it's not more challenging, it's maybe more fun because something that you've written, you know, with your friends in a room that you're all dying laughing at, yeah. suddenly there's a hundred people <laughs> yeah. in a weird yeah. outback steakhouse and you're saying crazy things that you all just sort of like thought of on a whim and then it's happening and it's real. So I would say it's uh, more magical than challenging. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. And your comedy roots are in improv, you're a yes. member of the Groundlings. How much improv took place on the show? I would say a fair amount. Um, we always did the scripts because they were <coughs> scripts, but always there would be some room uh, to play and to find things and just stay in character and find the truth of the moment. And luckily, you're with people who are up for that. Yeah, it must yeah. be so hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this show is going to be a fun ride. Yeah, it's uh, it's a crazy and a fun ride. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you can catch the series premiere of The Righteous Gemstones. Sunday at 10 p.m. on HBO. Great to have you here. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. yeah.